Yes, here. And first, I want to welcome you to Jowers Training Systems. I know that you have just started this journey with us, and I'm really excited to see you transform and see some amazing results with us. Now, one of the first things I want to talk to you about, though, is as you can see up here on this sheet, is the minimum required amount of work to see your end outcome. This is very important because doing too much too fast will actually hinder your, your results, your end outcome. It's typically not lifestyle uh, sustainable and you typically wear out quicker. So before you get started and you go all in and you say, I'm gonna train you know, uh, five times a week Every week, um, I'm going to drop my calories down to some uh, ridiculous amount, like 1,200 calories when it's not suitable for you. Or I'm just going to be at the gym every day. You know, I'm going to use as much time as I possibly can. Um, first question I ask is, how did that work for you in the past? Because typically, most people, have, after coming to us, have realized their flaws in, in uh, previous engagements with, with fitness, nutrition, health, wellness. And our first priority is making sure that you can sustain this for as long as possible, see the best results as possible, and not wear yourself out, not hinder performance, not hinder results, and live a lifestyle that is very, uh, very good and sustainable. Okay, so again, the first question I ask is, how did that work for you in the past? Uh, did you try a program previously and go every day and then fell off because you got exhausted, tired, worn out, injured, uh, ran out of time? Um, did you go through a program and only do it three times a week and, it, and you did it for longer periods of time? Um, how have your previous fitness engagements been? Have you trained before and, and uh, seen the results that you wanted or have you always been off and on? Okay, this is a big question because it goes into lifestyle sustainability. Okay, um, and now the second piece here, I've kind of got it everything bolded red and uh, black, but the next question uh, or thought that I have about fitness, nutrition, everything is think about it just like medicine. If you were to go to the doctor for a broken arm or uh, let's say you actually go to the doctor for a surgery. They're going to give you a prescription for typically a pain pill. Um, that pain pill is going to be recommended, let's say it's Oxycontin, probably once every four hours. Okay, This is the recommended dose for you based on your body, based on your end outcome, which is to reduce pain, reduce soreness, and not put you over the edge of where you're going to be sick. You're going to... Uh, have problems digesting or processing the medicine or you're just going to get tolerable to it and it's not going to do the job it's required. Okay, so fitness, health, and nutrition are all the same as medicine and we want to take only the recommended amount of, of, of um, fitness, nutrition, and, and such. We don't want to take a bunch of ibuprofen when we only need three to reduce our headache. We don't need to take ten when we can do three. Okay, this is the same with fitness. We don't want to have you training six, seven, eight times a week when two or three will do. We don't want to reduce your calories down to a uh, thousand calories a day when we could keep you up at eighteen hundred because we're actually going to reduce the effectiveness of this program or protocol long term, and we're also not going to get the benefits after a certain amount. Okay, and we want to make it lifestyle sustainable. All right, so what is the recommended uh, effective dose to get you to see your end outcome is the main question. And that's where we are here to help you. We want to recommend the best protocols and processes and procedures for you to get where you want to be. And this is why it's important to go talk to a coach in the next couple days or next time you're at, the, at class. And they can help recommend you a protocol on how many days uh, a week will be optimal for your results, what kind of nutrition will be optimal as well. So... Uh, you you only need more once you have effectively uh, your the effectiveness wears down. Okay, so what I typically recommend to start, depending on the person, each one uh, uh, each person I work with is different, but the typical recommendation is anywhere between three to four times per week. This is going to give you a good baseline. This is going to be something that's easy for you to do and. Uh, maintain okay because that's the goal we don't want you to start doing six days a week and then all of a sudden get busy with three times a week you can do this around a busy schedule we also recommend just cutting a, a certain amount of calories out per day not a drastic amount like a diet you might see in women's health or men's health okay so from there we go with this process as long as it works right so if it 
continues to work for 4, 6, 12, 24 weeks, we stay with this exact process. We only add more training or reduce nutrition or improve nutrition when the effectiveness of this wears off. So what I mean by that is once we stop seeing results with our training and nutrition as, at where it is, is when we might add more cardio or add more training or reduce calories just slightly, but nothing drastic. Okay, because this allows us to keep the recommended amount of uh, effective dose, not go too much, and not become tolerable to it faster than we need to. All right, so because people will go into training or nutrition at these these ridiculous levels and not the recommended effective amount of dose or the minimum required amount of work, they typically hit plateaus quicker. They run out of time. So you get busy and you can't sustain this. Uh, it's not sustainable in general. You lack calories. Uh, it's not long-term or lifestyle built. And you typically will come into uh, the increased uh, increased ability to create injuries, um, things like that come up faster okay so take what I just taught you go talk to the coach the next time you're in ask them what the minimum required amount of work would be for your training your nutrition and your adjustments so that way you can see the best effective results with the minimal amount of work not the maximum because we want to do the least possible to get where we want as fast as possible and then work from there